lot of questions today from the media for almost an hour. It follows an investigative report by ESPN which raises new allegations against the Ravens organization and what they knew and when in the Ray Rice case. 11 News I-Team lead investigative reporter Jay Miller is live at the Under Armour Performance Training Center where Bashadi finished speaking a little more than an hour ago. Jane? Well, Ron, the report on ESPN.com questioned the Ravens' integrity, questioned whether the Ravens did enough, whether they knew more than they let on, and whether they just wanted to sweep the whole thing under the rug by pushing for a very lenient punishment for Ray Rice when they found out what had gone on. The uh, Ravens responded really on two fronts today. First, with an eight-page letter message to Ravens fans, as they call it, and then with the uh, with the 50 minute uh, news conference by Ravens owner Steve Bishotti, something he does not normally do. Here are the highlights of what Bishotti said. First, Coach John Harbaugh did not want Ray Rice cut until the second video came out. The Ravens did not push the NFL for leniency for Rice. According to the uh, Ravens chief of security, Darren Sanders, who's quoted in the document that the re Ravens released today, Rice said he slapped Janae Palmer. That's what he told the chief of security. He denied punching her. And as you heard Bishotti say right at the top of the newscast, no one here, meaning the Ravens organization, is going to be fired. Bishotti also responded to the question, would he really hire Ray Rice back? And he gave... He, he, there was no holds barred in giving his opinion as who he thinks is responsible for the story on ESPN. What's obvious is that the majority of the sources are people that work for Ray. Um, almost everything in there is anonymous, but it's clear from the subject matter that there's it's Ray's attorney, it's Ray's agent, and it's Ray's friends. And, um, you know, they are building a case for reinstatement. And the best way to build a case for reinstatement is to make everybody else look like they're lying. So um, their accusations didn't jive with what we knew was fact. Well, I believe that this was Ray's one terrible moment, and so I had all the faith in the world that if he would, could never get in, hired by the NFL again, that he's going to go on to bigger and better things. And in my mind, I thought, well, if he's going to spend his life advocating against domestic violence, nobody's going to pay him for that necessarily. But if, it, but I could hire him to to work with Harry and help lead these people. And Harry doesn't have personal stories of redemption that Ray would have. Joining me now is sports director Jerry Sandusky, voice of the Ravens. He was uh, present when John Harbaugh went to the podium following Bashadi. Bashadi finished about 4.50, and uh, Jerry was covering John Harbaugh. Hey, Coach Harbaugh was asked early in this press conference if he felt his team was unfairly under siege, and his response was interesting. He said he didn't feel his team was under siege at all. The coach said being in pro football at this level, being second-guessed, being criticized, facing constant attention and scrutiny is part of the profession. That said, football as a platform for social issues and change is a new experience, one he welcomes for his profession and welcomes personally as well. Personally, I'll be a lot more interested in, in that societal problem that I really know nothing about, you know, and I've learned a lot about it in the last five, six months, and uh, I'll be way more sensitive to that uh, domestic violence. I mean, that's something that I, I read about it, you know, knew it was a problem, but didn't give it much thought, you know, and that's all changed for me personally. As it has for so many people within both the Ravens organization and around the NFL. As you talk to different people around the league, there was no feeling whatsoever until this incident took place that the NFL was going to be such a lightning rod for this social issue. But there is now a clear understanding, both in this organization and around the league, that this will help chart the future in terms of this social issue. Jane and John Harbaugh said he hopes the positive that comes out of it, much like Steve Bashotti said, is a better society and that football can play a role in that. And Jerry, we're now two weeks past the release of the Inside the Elevator video, which we video, which has of course opened up this whole issue so dramatically. And two things that I think we all need to keep in mind. One, we have no evidence that anyone in the Ravens organization or in the NFL actually saw the second video before its public release. 
And two, we don't know with any kind of objective, firm evidence exactly what Ray Rice himself told A, the Ravens, and B, the NFL. And I think that was the crux of what Steve Bishotti was talking about when he said last week the confidence of his organization was challenged, and he apologized for any mistakes made there, but now he feels like the integrity of his organization is being challenged, and he is not apologizing for the integrity of his organization. Do we think this is over yet? Probably not. Probably not. Reporting live from Owings Mills, Jerry Sandusky, and I'm Jane Miller. Back to you. Well, another